In this video, we will walk you through the proper process for simply checking to see if your IGBT has failed. To do this, you'll need a digital multimeter set to diode test mode. For safety, ensure that the power supply is turned off and locked out using proper lockout tagout procedures. Only test the IGBT if the power supply has failed or you are experiencing a DC bus fault. An insulated gate bipolar transistor or IGBT is a three-terminal semiconductor device used as a high-efficiency electronic switch. It is commonly found in high-voltage, high-current applications with low power inputs. Some common uses include induction cooktops, AC and DC motor drives, and in Pillar's own P6000 and P7000 power supplies. To check if your IGBT has failed, set your multimeter to diode mode and follow these steps. Place the black lead on the top terminal, C2E1, and the red lead on the middle terminal, E2. Measure the voltage drop. Keep the black lead on the top terminal, C2E1, and move the red lead to the bottom terminal, C1. Measure the voltage drop. Reverse the leads. Place the red lead on the top terminal, C2E1, and the black lead on the middle terminal, E2. Measure the voltage drop. Keep the red lead on the top terminal, C2E1, and move the black lead to the bottom terminal, C1. Measure the voltage drop. Each time you measure the voltage drop, you should read about 0.3 to 0.8 volts, indicating that your IGBT is functioning correctly. If you measure a short, zero volts, or an open circuit, infinite resistance, in any step, your IGBT is faulty and needs to be replaced. If your IGBT has failed, call Pillar Technologies and our team will help you get it resolved.